another beautiful morning on Makassar Beach. Have a look at that, huh? Uh, so just for our first base in uh, a couple of chocolate baits been a couple of cobbies around last one just lost a nice little cobby there i missed them so uh, yeah let's see what happens oh there you can see last one is stop uh, okay last four fish of water today uh, let's see what happens huh Look here, a uh, little soft dingle, forward in the circle. Yeah. Nice one, eh? I say. Alright, let's have a look here. I still got a copy as well now. Looks like a lack of duck. That's it. So uh, yeah, there's a little stretch of fishing today. You can see a small little bank right in the front. It's gonna break, and then a little gutter in the back. Actually, very nice gutter, and then a big bank in the back. So it's important just to, especially fishing for cobble, well, most fish, you want that back in the bank there. It will give you a bit of cover, a bit of structure as well, and then a, like a gutter around. It's always good, a bit of deeper water. So uh, yeah, and this little stretch you're looking at cobbies, definitely cobbies. Uh, I have a lot of small elf around this morning, just like that. Well, yeah. And then uh, obviously on flatfish, the water's warm and it's got a very nice color to it, not too thick. So, yeah, we're expecting good things. That's a bit of a southerly wind, so not the ideal, but uh, yeah, the water's looking very, very nice today. Small little cobby, uh, also on a little soft dingle chocker. Let's uh, measure this one quickly. Put it up in the Now it's about 46. Uh, 46 centimeters. And you're just going to put this one back again. That's so, it. Wait. Morning. Uh, yeah, I was going to do a quick, well, there's a couple of Blu-rays in the water now, there's a couple of small cobbies as well. So I was going to do a little bait that's going to attract both of them and you can get a bit of distance as well. And I'm still going to be using the circle uh, forward in a circle. So just uh, like a sardine, like a long sardine belly like that. But again, it's just going to take that off. I like just to, uh, yeah, do it like that. So you will basically sit like this. Okay. I just tie it on a bit just to get the base going. So because it's like a long stream on bait, you do get a bit more distance and uh, yeah, you can target the cobbies at the same time with it than the Blu-rays. So yeah. Okay, so if you look at the hook just like that, uh, when you cast, obviously it's gonna slide forward. So you just want something just to pack down on there. I was gonna use some of these anchovies. It's a messy bait, but it works. Huh? Let's tie the anchovies down. So I have a sardine belly and anchovies. Uh, I don't think that's a deadly combo. These are anchovies, you get that uh, Yakita bait and tackle there in uh, Brackenfell. So like that, tie it up a bit like that. And another two on the other side. So the main thing is you want a bait that's nice and streamlined. 
Okay, and as you thought, we'll just settle in. And I'll just catch you there in the front. So, okay, look at that. I said proud circle look there. Level cost, far enough. Okay, so let's get put it in. Sardine belly and anchovy mixture geweest for that 3 4 minuten en vast. Gaan skou gaan terug. Ja, yeah, terwijl the wind picked up again uh, against south westerly. Actually very very nice color. Uh, bit more life in the water as well. Yeah. Beach is nice and full. The beach is nice and full. So yeah, let's see what happens, eh? Yeah, water, yeah, the water is with the dry. It's turning now, it's dropping a bit. Wind's picked up a bit. Uh, but yeah, let's see what happens. Maybe uh, with a dropping tide, we'll, uh, the banks will start working a bit better and we'll yeah, see what happens. Huh? So far, a couple of cobbies, a couple of breweries, a couple of big eagle rays. Yeah, let's see. Right, guys, so uh, yeah, we're going to stop backing up now. The wind's picked up a lot and the fish stop, but I think it's like a southwesterly, so yeah, not very good. Let's quickly on the run you, uh, yeah, run this little out to pass you. It's a 14 foot bluefish, so we all know about the bluefish. Very, very nice uh, rod. I mean, for, four, uh, for 40 foot up to 4 ounce, cost really nicely. I've got put out this, uh, the Pen Fierce 3, the 5000, uh, with 40 pound uh, grinder braid on here. So, um, now so far it's been doing well with it. It's a very, very comfortable, comfortable outfit. And, um, yeah, I mean, for the, for the price, what you get in this reel, it's just really nice drag really it feels solid and no oh, that's what i'm enjoying with it uh good great uh break capacity so uh yeah loving it it's got a couple of nice blue rays and copies on this so far uh, i think for the price what you get in total it's actually very very good so yeah okay we're gonna start packing up and uh yeah we'll check uh, later with the next uh, episode eh?